Hello, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Software Informer. It's a freeware app that looks for updates for your installed apps and that lets you download those updates. As you can see, the installation is pretty straightforward and simple. The app itself is very light, so it goes pretty quickly. Now, once you run it for the first time, you'll see this window. This is where Software Informer tells you that it needs to submit certain info to its server in order to know which programs you've got installed. You can click on this link to see what exactly is being submitted. Basically, it sends the list of your programs and drivers, their associated file types and the readme files. If you already have an account with Software Informer, or if you want to create one, you can click on Advanced and choose one of the sign-in options. Otherwise, leave this setting as it is and Software Informer will create a new guest account for you. When you click OK, Software Informer will connect its server to check if any of your programs are out of date. If it does find any updates, you'll see this window. It will offer you to visit your personalized page where you can download those updates. If you decide not to proceed right at the moment, you can still access this page later by clicking on this phrase in the brackets or by clicking on visit your page, then switching over to software, and then updates. And you can download those updates right here. The app itself is very simple. In the Software tab, you've got a list of installed apps with some basic info about them. Their installed version, the number of users on Software Informer, the number of comments, and the number of questions. If an app is out of date, it's highlighted in red and you can see its most recent version. If you click on an app, you can see its info in more detail, as well as rate the app, ask a question about it, write a comment, or visit the program's website. Also, you can access the menu, which lets you ignore the current update, run the app, uninstall it, and set up notifications. For instance, if you're feeling particularly helpful, you can enable notifications about new comments and questions, and reply to those as soon as they appear. Now, the Recommendations tab suggests you programs based on what you keep installed in your computer. Generally, it recommends programs that cover the same set of features as yours, but are for some reason more popular. It also recommends you programs that other similar users have installed. If you click on an app, you can read its short description, as well as see some buttons that le let you rate the app, download it at once, or visit it, its web page and software informer to see the screenshots and read reviews. The Drivers tab is basically the same as software, except that it lists your drivers instead of programs. Everything else is the same, you can still ask questions or write comments. The last tab collects all the notifications, in case you should miss them first time around. These are not only notifications about new updates, but also notifications about new comments, questions, articles and news. Now, Software Informer has got one more trick up its sleeve. If you go to Settings, and then switch over to the third tab, which is called Interface, see? You can enable a nice little thing called Software Launcher. What it does is it lets you right-click on your Start menu or left-click on the floating icon right here to access a list of your frequently used apps. See? Now, what, ca what you can do is you can either launch the apps from this list or you can remove them if you don't need them. Launching is pretty simple and, well, it's much quicker than using the Start menu. And that's basically it. Software Informer is pretty simple overall, so just download it and give it a go.